Here is resonant inverter with bidirectional switches. For the resonant inverter with unidirectional switches, the power device have to be turned on in every half cycle of the output voltage. This limits the inverter frequency and the amount of energy transfer from the source to the load. In addition, the thyristors are subjected to high peak reverse voltage. The performance of the series inverter can be significantly improved by connecting an anti-parallel diode across the thyristor as shown in this diagram. The diode given should be connected as close as possible to the thyristor and the connecting leads should be minimum to reduce any stray inductance in the loop formed by T1 and D1. As the reverse voltage during the recovery time of the thyristor T1 is already low, typically it is 1 volt, any inductance in the diode path would reduce the net reverse voltage across the terminals of T1 and the thyristor T1 may not be turned off. To overcome this problem, a reverse conducting thyristor that is RCT is normally used. RCTs are ideal for series resonant inverter. When the thyristor T1 is fired, a resonant pulse of current flows and T1 is self commutated at T equals to T1. However, the resonant oscillations continue through D1 until the current falls again to zero at the end of the circuit as shown in the waveform. So when thyristor is turned on, the supply is going to flow through the thyristor L and through the load. Meanwhile, the capacitor C is going to charge up. When this voltage, cathode voltage of the thyristor T1 becomes more than the anode voltage, then thyristor is going to stop by self computation Even though thyristor T1 is stopped by self computation the diode D1 provides the path to carry the current from the load to the source. That is why the current path is we are getting is negative when the D1 is on. The reverse voltage of the thyristor is limited to a forward voltage drop of a diode and forward voltage drop of a diode is typically 1 volt. If the conduction time of the diode is greater than turn off time of the thyristor, there is no need of a dead zone and the output frequency F0 should be equals to the resonant frequency FR where FR which equals to omega R divided by 2 pi where FR is the resonant frequency of the series circuit if the turn off time of the thyristor TQ the maximum inverter frequency is given by F max 1 by 2 times of TQ F0 should be less than F max or else this should be greater than F0 this is the basic circuit diagram of a series resonant inverter with bidirectional switches and these are the waveforms of output voltage here and here voltage through the capacitor. Uh, this is the circuit diagram for half bridge series resonant inverter with bidirectional switch and this is the circuit diagram for full bridge series resonant inverter with bidirectional switch and these two are the waveforms corresponding to half bridge and full bridge respectively. When T1 is on, the power is going to flow through the T1 and in the same time the capacitor C1 is going to charge up. Okay, then due to the resonance, the circuit is formed between C1, L, R and T1 and the reverse current starts flowing which is going to turn off the thyristor T1 within the time of T1. Still, D1 is going to provide the path to flow the current in the reverse direction here it is going from source to the load whereas here it is going to be from load to the source through D1 okay so after that when we turn on the thyristor T2 the negative current is going to flow through the T2 and the C2 is going to make a resonant circuit between C2, L, R and T2 which is responsible for the reverse current to flow through the thyristor T2 and which is going to make the thyristor T2 turn off by self. Then the capacitor is going to discharge through the diode D2. So these are the times when T1, D1, T2, D2 are turned on. These are the corresponding waveforms of the output voltage. The similar thing is going to happen in full bridge rectifier 
these are the corresponding times of the t1 d1 t2 and d2 the full bridge configuration which we have shown here the inverter can be operated in two different modes first one non overlapping and second one overlapping in overlapping mode the firing of thyristor is delayed until the last current oscillation through a diode has been completed these are the waveforms which we are going to get in non overlapping mode in overlapping mode a thyristor is fired while the current in the diode of the another part is still conducting you can observe that this is the current path while d1 is conducting and it is not came to zero before that t2 is turned on so this is overlapping the conduction period of d1 the similar thing is going to happen here where d2 is turned on before you can see after this d2 is turned on then again it is t1 right so before d2 turns off t1 is fired here this is overlapping the overlapping operation increases the output frequency and the output power is increased this is regarding series resonant inverter with the bidirectional switches and different configurations the basic half bridge and full bridge and the responses or the wave output current waveforms if this video is useful please like share and subscribe